Here is how to make a totem of undying from Minecraft out of just EVA foam. This is this is seriously such an easy project. So let's get into the video. First off, you are going to need some kind of pattern for this. If you don't want to sketch out your own on paper like I did, you can use the one that I have linked in the description. Next off, you're going to need to cut out all of the pieces of foam. I used six millimeter and two millimeter EVA foam, but the exact amounts will be on the pattern that I have in the description. Things I helpfully or unhelpfully did not film while making this was the actually gluing everything together and scoring and heat sealing the foam. For this, for the foam, there are these indented lines on it. And so you are going to want to take an X-Acto knife and run it through the foam using a heat gun or a high temperature blow dryer to expand these little cut lines. You're also going to need to glue everything together. I also added this loop to the back, which will be in the pattern as well. For all of these pieces gluing them together, I just used hot glue. It's just super easy just getting everything together. Once you've cut everything out, scored the foam, glued it all together, and heat sealed it, you need to prime it. Flexbond works really well for this, but you can also use something like Mod Podge or Plastidip if you have those. Paint one, two, three layers of this over the entire surface, and then you can move on to painting. For almost all of my foam projects, I'd like to start with a layer of black paint. This just gives me a nice solid surface to work on, especially when working with metallic paint. For metallic paint, you generally do need to do several layers of it just to get everything nice and even for the color. For the eyes for this totem of undying, I just did this really nice bright green paint that I also layered with a slightly holographic blue paint over top of that to give it this nice shiny effect. Once all of the paint layers had dried, it's important that they're all fully, fully dry. I dry brushed on some darker brown and black paint. Dry brushing is you get a little bit of paint on your brush, wipe most of it off, and then just dab it into the corners and lines and lower sections of the prop. This gives it a more weathered effect. Finally, I do need to finish off the prop, give it a little bit more durability by sealing it. For this, I used Glossy Mod Podge since it is gold and it is shiny. And so there you have it. This is how you make a Totem of Undying. Again, this was a super easy project. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.